Alright, so we're on the bus again here today. Kind of been a little away from it for a while. Took a break for the winter, saved some money, do some work. Um, one suggestion if you're working on a bus, don't take your roof panels off. It's not worth it. Most times your insulation is going to be good, but putting those panels back up, it's not going to happen. Too much of a pain to try and deal with them, bend them, force them back into place. So I've kind of hacked it together, going to figure out something to cover it all. Um, let's see, I started putting wall panels up. Got my floor here all sanded, ready to go, ready to be put down. Just get some of my walls up. I've got my spray foam insulation in the walls on the bottom, my styrofoam in the walls above the uh, bottom wall, bottom of our windows blacked out which we're covering with the wood here anyways. So this is kind of where we're sitting at this point. We're now what April 8th, 9th, somewhere around there. Let's see, April 9th. And this is pretty well where we're sitting here now. It's going a little bit quicker. Um, gotten both of these wall panels up in about an hour and a half. Countersinking all my screws right into the frame. I'm just using, I don't even remember what screws I'm using. I'm just using construction screws, pilot hole, the piloting a one eighth hole and then I have the countersink bits to countersink the holes bury the heads nice and then I'm going to putty fill them all as well as the holes in the plywood from the manufacturing I'm going to plug all those then we're going to stain them and we're doing the same with the floors just using 3 8 plywood and kind of, I guess, hoping for the best on that one. Hopefully nothing shifts too much or pops out. And another thing, when I started this, I had a little 600 watt inverter. I had to upgrade to a 2000 watt in order to be able to run my, cord or my corded drill or my jigsaw, but then now I have a skill saw another nice new drill after someone decided to break in and steal my tools and a nice uh, belt sander to sand all my panels down make everything nice and pretty so another thing I forgot to point out while we're doing these walls and possibly the floor too in between our plywood panels and our exterior walls we are using Reflectix insulation just as a kind of buffer. And that's stuff that we're using here, standard edge insulation. That doesn't increase the R value a whole lot, but any little bit helps. It does work as a radiant barrier. Um, it's easy to work with, but as always with buying any home building supplies or renovation supplies, do research, find out your best prices, your best products, and go from there. Um, you don't want to be using cheap cheap product or overpaying for your supplies. 